I'm Mortgage Mark, and congratulations on the listing of your home. Look, here's what my greatest fears would be if I were listing my home. Really and truly, the biggest thing that you can do or the biggest mistake you can make is accepting an offer that will actually never materialize. I don't care if somebody's offering you $500,000 above your asking price. The fact of the matter is, if they can't close, it doesn't matter. And what you've done is you've wasted your time and gotten the emotional high thinking, oh man, I'm gonna sell this home for a whole lot of money. And ultimately what happens is your plans just go to kaput when they can't close on a home. So the biggest thing I can tell you if I'm selling a home is do your homework. If you're working with a realtor and if you don't know how or if you're not and you're, you're thinking about it, we have a strong opinion on how to select a realtor. So be sure to check that section out as well to get a real professional because this is honestly, this is their job. This is what they should be doing. And if they're not, you need to be following up with them to make sure they do it. But when you guys get offers on the table that come to you and say, hey, I wanna buy your home, ask the right questions about how to accept that, that contract. And then the other piece, okay, so man, I got a good contract here. Clearly the other you know, fear, which or really it's just a, a need to know, want to know to help prep for your future is how much you're actually gonna make from the house. How much you actually get to keep it's not how much you sell it for and that minus your mortgage. There's a whole payoff system that goes into taking all the fees out. We have a seller net sheet. Check that out. It'll help you calculate very closely what you're going to get at closing. And then also, guys, consider taxes. I don't know if, if, if you're selling your primary home. Uh, certainly, you may not have to pay the capital gains. It depends on how much you've made and what you've done to the house. So check that out because how much you actually keep after tax time is really what's important. So figure out those two things. One, make sure you're taking a, an offer that's actually legitimate and real. Again, there's a whole section about that. And then number two, make sure you know your numbers and know not just what you're gonna get today at closing, but what you're ultimately going to keep. If you guys have any questions, call us. We are more than happy to help and we look forward to potentially working with you.